What's going on everybody? Pause here and welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. So, I had to ask my friend, shouts out to Jayski, how you recharge sea glides. And he told me that all you need is a battery. I'm hoping that's the case because right now our sea glide is actually at 33% uh, energy. And we only got this last episode, so I'm hoping that that is the case. The only thing that's really confusing me is I'm not entirely certain how the hell I do it because like if I drag the battery there nothing happens so I'm hoping that it may just uh, end up replacing the battery by itself anyways so today we need to qu we need to continue scanning everything and I know that it's probably gonna sound boring actually what we probably should do at the same time is do we have any we don't we don't have any like fish or the the air sac fish so we're gonna have to try and keep our eyes on that because we're only at 50 oh i was gonna say 52 percent water but we're at 51 percent uh left and now the only is other issue i have right now is we are slowly 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 running out of inventory space and there i go again hitting that escape button always bring me back so what i want to try and do i'm not entirely certain like if we go into our inventory we do have a couple options for our storage so now we have lockers and then we also have a wall locker and that's the only thing i've seen so far until we can buy or in, until we can start building our own right now i assume i mean we do have all of the equipment for a locker so let's see if we can do that i'm not entirely deployables maybe waterproof locker uh uh 4x4 four four store. That's not what I. Uh. Oh, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Where the heck is that? Resources, advanced materials. It's definitely not going to be in advanced materials. Definitely not in sustenance. Uh huh. And then these right here are also just other things. Current generator. Hmm. So I was reading that you we need to oh god let, let me go out here for a second I can't believe it's already night let's put this maybe on number I don't know can we just deploy that oh okay so we can it just stays there how much space is in here there's really not that much space okay and again there to go there I go again friggin' constantly we could just eat that I guess uh, let's see. What do, what don't I have on my hop bar? Okay, well, whatever. It's time for us to start going out and taking a quick little scan around the areas, seeing what the heck we can find. We there's some air sacs. There we go. I really, really wish that whenever we pick something up, it didn't automatically switch it into our inventory because that's always a little, little confusing at times, especially whenever we oh. Yep. I don't want to be here. Not until I can see what the hell we are running into. I mean, we're running at now 20% left. Let's grab a couple more of the air sacs. Come here. Oh, you fishy little bugger. There we go. Okay, so let's go quickly go off for air. And we're now running out of energy right now. Oh my god. Whatever's loading in is killing the frames. Because we're now at 14%. Okay, so we have a couple items here that we do want to scan. So that's a sea glide fragment. I'm not too worried about that because the titanium is nice, and we also have the sea glide fragment as well. Look at that. Let's go back into our sea glide form here, take a look. We do have quite a silver ore. We're probably going to have to start worrying more about that because I believe that is. What is that? Oh, titanium. I thought that was, uh, sandstone. Oh, we do have another... Here we go. Mobile vehicle A fragment. Do we have that? Mobile... Okay, so we just unlocked something there. Let's take a look at what the heck we have. Fabricates vehicles from raw materials. Titanium ingot lubricant. Do we have a titanium ingot? I don't think I've ever... Oh, ingot. There we go. Holy crap. Okay, so it's one of those, which cost 10 titanium lubricant and a power cell so the power cell is two batteries and silicone or rubber okay 
So I'm hoping to God that whatever happens here is. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Yes, I heard you. By the way, I don't think I've ever shown the moon. The moon looks weird. Okay, let's maybe get out of here. The moon, I don't even know, like that can't, that's not a moon. I don't know what that is because that right there is the moon. I don't know, like, we're definitely not on Earth. I, that's all I know is we are definitely not on Earth, so maybe we shouldn't worry about it right now. Okay, we do have quite a bit of, we only have three air sacs and that's not gonna be good enough for what we want. Oh, no, come here, come here. There we go. Let's quickly give this a quick scan. Mobile vehicle bay fragment, which we already have. Okay, so now we're gonna run into... Okay, so whenever you have a battery. Oh, uh, okay. That's cool. Solar panel fragment, more titanium for us. Yeah, we are gonna be just like swimming. No, uh, no pun intended, swimming in ingots here because every single, oh, every single little one of those, I don't even know what the heck they're called, but they're not like really storage units or storage at all, but whatever they are, we're constantly getting, <gasps> oh, why do I keep coming down here? Oh, I hate this friggin' ocean, man. Okay. So, I'm gonna quickly, oh God. I wanna quickly head back because we need to get ourselves situated in terms of water and also food. And also we're probably gonna want to get ourselves more batteries. Another solar panel fragment. So I think, yeah, I don't like that. I think what we're probably gonna end up doing, like here's the thing, can I go in here? Now is there any, anything of use? I don't really see anything of use. Like, I don't even see like a storage locker. I guess that's where it'd be. Is there anything in the medical? Nope. Huh. I don't know what that even does. I wanna take a look at one thing here. I wanna quickly, I feel like we should try and make that. The mobile vehicle bay. So let's do that. We also, for lubricant, what was that again? Uh, lubricant was, actually quick. Quickly before we, we do anything, we need to get ourselves situated in terms of water here. So let's let's do that right away. Oh god, I don't like where, where that was looking. Let us go into sustenance, get ourselves some filtered water. And I think we also have a peeper, if I'm not mistaken. See, here's what I don't like is having to constantly like just click it. I mean, it could definitely be a lot worse, but just a just a little little thing that frustrates me every once in a while, and I think that's all the air sacs we had. So let's cook ourselves a peeper as well. We friggin' hungry. Uh, cook boomerang. Let's see how much that is worth in terms of replenishing our food. Let's go into our inventory. Take a look at the plus twenty one. That's actually not too bad. Uh, the cook peeper are, are definitely the uh, the best things to have right now. Uh, let's do that. We can go now into our inventory. We can put some of that there. I don't know how long we have to wait. You know what? Let's, uh, we're making our ingot right now. So let's go here. Uh, advanced material. I could have sworn it would have definitely been there. All right, there we go. So that takes 10 friggin' titanium fragments, but lumps it into a giant ingot. So now we also need to get lubricant, which I assume... One of these days, seed cave, we need the creep vine seed cluster. And then what else did we need for that? We needed uh, something else. Power cell. So what does a power cell require? So two batteries and silicone rubber. So we can bang out two things right now if we go to the creep vine. We need silicone rubber. And we also need some of the creep vine clusters and we don't have anything in our storage right now. So let's head on over to the creep vine area, wherever that may be. You know what, honestly, I think what we probably should do at the same time is start making some of the relay beacons, I believe is what they are called. Let me see if I could find that. So then I can start marking these things. Uh, communication relay, see, no, that's not what we want. Waterproof storage, that's not what we want either. 
pipe isn't what we need. Oh god, where is it? Uh, man, honestly, I wish there was like a search function because I know it's here. Just don't know where. And now I feel like an idiot. Uh, hatch, corridor, window, ladder, foundation, reinforcement, vertical connector, that's not it. You know what? There is a, an easier way to check this out, in my opinion, is if we just go to our little fabricator. Let's go into personnel, tools, we have scanner, welder, flashlight, survival knife, dive reel, air bladder, flare, habitat rebuilder, fabricates habitat compartments, and applicants. You know what, we should probably make that. Honestly, habitat builder, computer chip. Oh god, okay, so what, it, what goes into a computer chip? Table coral sample. Okay, so before we continue on, I want to do this because I believe that's what we need to start building a new home. So we need to get table coral sample, and then along with that, uh, oh god. I keep, I'm, I'm, oh, I keep accidentally hitting the, uh, where is that? And then we need a battery. Okay, so battery is really easy. I keep hitting escape. I don't even know why. Okay, so the coral sample, I believe, is going to be this right here. And the way we go up, the way we do it is we just go up and give that a little, little cut. I believe. Uh. This worked last time. Uh, maybe let's find something else. I could have sworn that's how... It, because I've definitely gotten coral samples before, and I could have sworn it was from these. We're just gonna sit here and maybe take a swing at it. This is not working, and I'm feeling like a complete and utter idiot. Huh. Okay. Give me one second, because I was fairly certain that's exactly how we did it. Okay. So I'm going to assume that it doesn't really matter what table the... Or the what color the, the table coral sample is. So I'm hoping that that works. Picked up table coral sample. So it appears to be the same regardless of color. And I'm really happy that that's the case, because otherwise this game would be absolutely racist. I'm just joking. Uh, so what else did we need? We needed quite a bit of things here for the... Uh, so we need to, a computer chip, so if we go into our electronics, we can now craft a computer chip. Oh my god, it's looking friggin' fantastic. And then I also think we needed a battery, if I'm not mistaken. Which can be found... Wait, wait, I just want to make sure. Battery. Okay, perfect. There we go. And now we can craft that, which... Oh, God. I'm hoping is what we need to start creating... Fabricates, habitat, compartments, and appliances from raw materials. Okay, so now what exactly does that even use? Where'd that go? I have no idea what the heck this is. Uh, okay. So let's see, let's check something here. Uh, my game, what the heck was that? It just like froze for half a second there. So I wanna check out one thing. If we go here into our little, ooh, <gasps> oh. <laughs> okay, now we're talking. So that is exactly what I thought it was gonna do. Uh, I wanna cancel that though. I don't wanna start building here. I kinda wanna find myself some, actually, where is that relay? Before we do anything, we absolutely need that relay because if I, if I start building a home somewhere, I want it to at least be able to see where it is in the, from the distance. I don't like how, like, if you're close up, that, that's, like, super difficult to, to see. And same with, with when you back up. Uh, thermometer, rebreather, first aid kit. Tools, not flare. Dive reel. Man, where the heck? 
I know those exist. Uh, wiring kit, power cell, battery, copper wire. Dude, I could have sworn. Sea Glide mobile beacon. There we go. Copper wire. Okay, so what is required for copper wire? Copper ore types two. We don't even have that. So let's go get ourselves some copper because from here on out, we're gonna start having a label where things are. Like for instance, spooky sea monsters is where we're gonna like label this over here because those guys, they just keep on scaring me. Looks like we got a couple, oh my God. Whenever we come into like new areas, it just literally just like takes a crap on my FPS, which is what, you know, kind of acceptable. Uh, let's not, let's not. Yep, again, we need to label this spooky, scary skeleton monsters. Let's quickly give this a scan. Modification station fragment. Two out of three for that. Okay. So we got enough copper to start. Oh my god, I don't even know where to... I don't like this at all, man. Uh, okay, so let's go over here. Let's get ourselves something for the beacon and by that i mean the copper wiring we go here we have the copper wire so now where where did that go beacon nope i just saw it beacon 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 god dang it beacon there we go okay so the beacon should not be undertaken without appropriate equipment you should stay within two kilometers of a life pot or habitat at all times. So the beacon here maintains and broadcasts its position. Now, I'm not entirely certain how that's going to work. You know, maybe we should take a quick, uh, like for instance, let's go over here for one second. I still have it the slightest idea what that is. Okay, so if we do that, and can we now... Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Again, keep hitting pick up beacon. E1. How the heck can I rename that? Can I rename that in here? No. I'm not entirely certain as to how the hell I rename things. But I'm glad that's exactly what it does, because at least now we can actually start going out, taking a look as to where the hell we want to live, and figure that out. But man, we actually got quite a bit accomplished today. It may not seem like we did, but we got, we, we figured out how to recharge batteries, we got now the mobile vehicle deployment station, we also now have our fabricator, or not fabricator, what is that called? Habitat Builder, so now we can start crafting houses, and again, all the houses, when we take a look at our inventory, are just basically titanium, so essentially what we're going to have to end up doing here very soon is start going out and just scanning a bunch of things to start getting our, our base built, but my god, I am actually, I've never been this excited to actually build something in-house. Emergency. Oh, yeah. God, I promise you I will get out of the habit. I of like hitting escape to to like get out of the min mini there but that's gonna be it for me today i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of subnautica i hope that you guys have a wonderful day as well i said hope two times by accident but i just rolled with it anyways guys i love you peace out girl scouts